We handle a lot of constitutional cases here at the Rutherford Institute. Usually when we research how legislation comes into being that affects First Amendment rights, Fourth Amendment rights in our Constitution, or other key things that we as American citizens feel are important, usually we find that somewhere behind this legislation there is some lobbyist who has uh, had access to some government official, a politician, that brings it into being. A recent conference in Williamsburg, Virginia, uh, really highlights what we're seeing uh, happen in this country today, and that is the emergence of the corporate state, where basically corporations are making the decisions, and those people that we elect are not really making the basic decisions of government. For four days, from July 12th to, to July 15th, 2012, America's governors, hosted by Virginia Governor Bob McDonald, gathered in Williamsburg, Virginia for the National Governors Association, better known as the NGA. It's an annual summer meeting. While there, the governors and their staffs were treated to amusement parks, historical sites, championship golf courses, five-star dining, and a rousing fireworks finale. Much of this was paid for by corporations eager to spend time with the nation's most powerful government chief executives. Amazingly, none of this is open to the public, us, the American citizens, who again elect these politicians, our governors. Uh, the only people who had access to the governors during this time, and usually uh, at the governor's mansion, at the White House as we find, a number of the cases we're involved in, are the corporations and their lobbyists. The National Governors Association, or the NGA, is an organization that allows corporations to pay a certain amount of money to belong, up to $20,000 annually to participate. Large corporations such as General Electric, Microsoft, ExxonMobil, Ford, Bank of America, and the United Health Group all participate. And they regularly hold closed door luncheons for their what they call their corporate fellows, or people who pay to belong to them, and then they give them access to the people we elect to governmental positions. What we're seeing happen to the government of the United States, the federal government, uh, the state governments, local governments, is the corporate buyout of our governmental bodies. What we find in our research and what Surfing's seeing in a number of my commentaries, which you should go online at rutherford.org and read, is that the corporations have moved into the highest level of, of government and the lowest levels of government, and they're basically, through these kind of events that I talk about in Williamsburg, Virginia, where they have amusements, uh, going to amusement parks, fireworks, banquets, they're buying government officials and influencing how they vote. When these politicians run from higher government, we know that those particular organizations are still supporting them. In fact, the two people running for president, uh, President Obama and Mitt Romney, believe it or not, many of the corporations supporting Obama are also giving money to Mitt Romney. Uh, this is very, very dangerous in my opinion because corporations exist for one thing, the bottom line is money. And unfortunately, there are many greedy people out there that don't care about civil liberties and rights, and they're cutting off our access to government. Remember a couple years back when people were going to town hall meetings? Well, we don't really have access to that anymore. Most of those town hall meetings, by the way, are occurring over telephones, and some people, and some of our politicians, are actually charging people fees if they want to come to a town hall meeting. If our government means anything, it is this, that we have a right to access to our politicians, to speak to them, to confront them if necessary. What happens when the corporations are buying them out? The corporations are getting the access to them. We're not getting the access, not even at town hall meetings. This means that our so-called democratic form of government has been bought out by the corporate state.